In this video, I'm going to show you how to find t-shirt ideas that have a great chance of selling before you ever create them. Hi, I'm Curtis Blackmore. I'm the founder of Merch Titans, and today I'm going to show you the primary tool I use to easily discover t-shirt ideas that have potential to sell. Keep watching and we'll get right to that. Okay, so the tool I use to uncover t-shirt ideas is the product search tool inside Merch Titans. This is one of the primary tools I use to always start my research process. And it's fantastic because it pulls real-time data from Amazon and sorts it for you in a nicely readable manner. Now, with that being said, uh, I always recommend you start your research process with something you have interest in and maybe understand more than the average person about. So for me, I will start with fishing for this example and click search and let the uh, results load. And just like that, one thing I noticed right out the gate is there's 29,394 products using the fishing keyword that have been pulled. That is a lot of t-shirts. Uh, that's a lot of competition. So it's a highly competitive niche, which would be hard to break into and get sales inside. So this is just the first start of the research process. And as I, as I get in further, I'll explain more and more. But I'm gonna just search through through these uh, results and see what type of t-shirts stand out to me. And look at this here, there's two here fishy fishy shirts and they're receiving an estimate of 34 sales per month. So that's pretty good. And now another thing you can always do is check the bestseller rank history to make sure that this isn't just a fluke uh, and that this shirt has received consistent sales for you know an extended period of time. So right here on this chart, you can see all these uh, the spikes and then down. The lower this is, so right here in November to December, so around Thanksgiving to Christmas area, you can see that this shirt was absolutely killing it. The lower this BSR, the more sales it's receiving. Now, so that already shows me that this shirt has been selling well. So one thing you can do is dig a little deeper. So now instead of fishing, I'm going to take the primary keyword, the here fishy 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 uh, keyword and search here. So now we're just digging deeper, I call it sub-niching or niching down, looking to find those uh, sub-niches inside a primary niche. Uh, so just like that, here you go, we got these here fishy fishy shirts, there's another one, and there's, there's a couple of them that are just selling quite well, but instead of 29,000 results, there's now 824 results. So now we're getting down, and uh, one thing I always recommend is you see if you can get within about 200 to 400 on the total results. If you can get within that, there's just not a ton of competition in the space, and there's a good chance that if you build a decent design, it's going to sell. So let's just keep looking a little bit more and see if there are any other ideas uh, that stand out. Uh, do you even fish, bro? I see a couple of these. Let me keep looking here. It's another here, fishy fishy. That one's a really weird color, though. Lots of these here fishy 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 shirts and they're all as you can see have received a sell before and they're receiving consistent sales. Here's another idea. I'd rather be than it leaves out the fishing. So that is a good idea. Um, I can see that's received sales. It's down here quite a ways. But I'm going to use that one and just dig a little bit more. So let me go back to the top and type in I'd rather be fishing. Let's see how many total results we have here. Okay, so that is much better. So right here, total results, 385 products. Um, and you can always click on this as well. It'll take you out to Amazon so you can actually look through various different products. Um, but now right here, you can see that the top shirt, it's a very, honestly, it's a very simple design. It's receiving an estimate of 19 cells a month. Uh, right here, the second one, you can see it's receiving an estimate of six cells per month. Two, and then you see that the multiple, like so many of these shirts, are actually receiving sales. So let me check the history on this one. And just like that, you can see the history is great. This shirt has been selling since August of 2017. It's been, you can see it slowed down here a bit, but then it really picked up steam around Christmas as they always do. And then it's coming back up. And I expect as spring to start hitting and summer to start hitting that it, this will start dropping even more. So that's a good idea. That's a that's a shirt that doesn't have a ton of competition. You can tell that it's received consistent sales. 
Uh, there's no doubt about it that if you can create a design yourself that stands out, that's a bit unique, uh, that you will generate sales as well. So what you could do is use this shirt as a model to create your own. Uh, so that's exactly what I recommend you do. So now you have an idea, and the idea is I'd rather be fishing. And you could spin that off to add in I'd rather be fishing trout, I'd rather be fishing salmon, or instead of I'd, you could change it to I would. There's so many different ways that you can change this up, make it a little bit more unique to serve just a little bit, or just to serve the market in a little bit different way. So there you have it. That's an idea. What you can do is always add it to the favorites inside your Merch Titans account. And that way you can come over to favorites here, go to favorite products, and you can pull it up and look at it any time. But now that you have an idea and you, you're looking at the data and you know that you have a great chance of getting sales with that idea, the next step is to check the trademark safety, which I will go over in the next video. Anyway, that's it for this first video. This is uh, part one of four different videos I'm making. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, ask me in the comment section below. That's it. I'll see you in the next video.